Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So, a couple of days ago, I posted a video showing you how to harden Firefox for better privacy and security. Because some of the browser's default settings could be potential privacy and security risks. And if you were not using some of these default settings, there's a couple that could be turned off. And I pointed those out in that video, which will be left down below and in the end screen. Now, moving on to Microsoft Edge. Edge has a couple of default settings that also aren't optimized for performance, privacy, or a better user experience. And although some of these so-called default settings in Edge can be helpful, a lot of them can track you with telemetry and track your activity and consume system resources and also just clutter the whole user interface. So just a couple of settings you can turn off in Edge. Um, this is not a comprehensive list and obviously um, if you are using any of these features and settings then obviously it goes without saying leave the relevant setting turned on. But this can help in just to declutter the browser to some extent or the other and just increase the privacy and boost the performance to, um, to some degree. Now in no particular order, as you may well know, when you type a query in uh, Microsoft Edge's address bar, um, what it does is you see related searches that appear below the search bar to help complete your query and to just speed up the process according to Microsoft. And while this feature for some can be helpful, um, this can be quite distracting. So if you want to turn off uh, search suggestions um, in the Edge browser, uh, you will head to our settings page by heading to our menu, settings, navigating over to privacy search and services. And then on this page, you'll scroll down right to the bottom to where you get address bar and search. Click on that. And then here you'll see search suggestions and filters we click on that so this is what we need to turn off show me search and site suggestions using my type characters so we turn that off and hopefully if we head back to the address bar and we do a search most of that will be gone so as mentioned that's going to help declutter that to some degree or the other and then what you can also do is once you've turned off show me search and site suggestions using my type characters you can turn off show me suggestions from history favorites and other data on this device using my type characters and hopefully if we go back now and we do a search that should be removed and there we go a lot better in the address bar if you're not using that feature then moving on to another one as you may well know edge has an autofill feature that saves details like your passwords your payment info and addresses when you enter them for the first time. And this is part of the wallet feature that's built into the browser. Now this can obviously make it easier to fill in these details automatically when you visit a site. And although it can be convenient, it goes without saying that this can pose a security risk. So to turn off autofill settings, what we would do is sticking in these settings, this time we'd head back to profiles. And on the profiles page, scroll down till where you see open wallet and then navigate to your settings and yeah you'll see a setting called automatically save payment info and then what we're going to do is we're going to toggle that off and hopefully next time you go back to any site that will not autofill your settings and something else you can also do is if you are concerned you can also turn off save and fill payment info offer to save cards and automatically fill out payment details. Now this can be handy, but if you're not using the feature, then I would also just turn that off. But nonetheless, it goes without saying, if you have that on, at least then turn off automatically save payment info. And then the next one is Microsoft Edge is a feature called page preloading. And this is something I've actually spoken about previously um, on the channel, which loads pages in the background, um, which according to Microsoft, makes the browser, um, the overall performance of the browser faster. Now this can be use useful, but the problem with this though is it uses extra data and system resources. So for this one, we are gonna head back into our settings, go to cookies and site permissions. So on this page, what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to manage and delete cookies and site data. We're gonna click on that. 
And what we're going to do is turn off preload pages for faster browsing and searching. The description that it reads uses cookies to remember your preferences. Even if you don't visit those pages, we're going to toggle that off. Then moving on to another one, and this is called Startup Boost, and I've covered this also previously on the channel. And by default, um, Microsoft Edge continues running certain processes in the background, even when you're actually not using the browser. Now, this feature called Startup Boost, according to Microsoft, speeds up the browser's launch, but consumes unnecessary system source resources that always run in the background to obviously perform that Startup Boost. And to turn this setting off, we head back to our settings. This time we head to System and Performance. And yeah, you'll see Startup Boost. And I've already turned this off. And something else you can do um, while you're on this page, which I have posted in two separate videos on this channel, is you can turn off Continue Running Background Extensions and Apps when Microsoft Edge is closed. If you are not using any apps in Microsoft Edge, turning off these two settings, I feel, will give you a little bit of a a kind of a performance boost if you're not using those features in the browser. Then another one we can do is turning off newsfeed and promoted links. Now by default you may know that Microsoft Edge displays news feeds as you can see here underneath on the new tab page. You got your weather updates and promoted links here um, on the actual new tab page which can kind of make the page feel cluttered. So what we're going to do with this one is we're going to head up to the top right to our page settings and we're going to turn off show promoted links, which can help to some degree or the other. And if you don't need quick links, you can also just turn that off. Okay. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to head down and we're going to head to the show feed. We're going to turn show feed off and there we go. And you can even turn off the weather if you want to this weather here at the top right, but up like that where they've been displayed there on the new tab page so there are a couple of options to declutter the new tab page and by the way guys some of these i have covered in previous videos but just a collation for the purpose of today's video one or two more to go and as you may well know microsoft edge tracks your browsing habits including your history usage favorites and web content and they use this to show personalized ads and content recommendations. And obviously, this gives a lot of users, including myself, a privacy concern. So to turn this feature off, what we're going to do is we're going to head over to our settings once again, privacy search and services. And we're going to scroll down to a section called personalization and advertising. Okay. Okay. There we go, personalization and advertising. And what you're going to do is you are going to turn this feature off if you are concerned about your privacy. Then uh, two more to go for the purpose of this video. And then Microsoft Rewards, as you may well know, um, is a feature um, in Microsoft Edge that lets you earn points by using Bing as your search engine and then browsing with Edge. Now, personally, I don't use Microsoft Rewards and um, that's just because I just, you know, I'm not really into the reward side of things and um, I don't feel there's enough return and bang for your buck. But that's just my personal take on it. And if you're not using the feature, you can actually turn it off because um, it can track your activity to achieve, obviously, um, giving you those rewards points. So what we do with this one is to turn off this feature. Once again, we stick it in settings. We go back to settings, profiles. And you're looking on this page for Microsoft Rewards. Here we go. And earn Microsoft Rewards in Microsoft Edge. And you just toggle that feature off and that'll turn that feature off completely. And then the last one to mention for this video, as mentioned, this is not a comprehensive list. If you know of any others, just let me know down in the comments. Um, Microsoft has an autoplay feature for videos and media that is set to limit by default. And we have covered this previously on the channel. And what this means is that videos, including ads, will autoplay the next time you visit sites when you've interacted with media. So obviously we want to turn this feature off. So once again, we're heading back into our settings. This time, cookies and site permissions once again. And then we scroll down to media autoplay. And we're just going to look for that quickly. Here we go, media autoplay. And we click on that. And you can see it's set to limit by default. And what we can do there is we can just block that completely. And if you want to allow 
certain sites to um, to play audio and video automatically on sites. You can just add them on this allow list. You enter the URL, add it, and so on. But that's just a couple of settings, guys. If you are interested, um, some of these improve browser performance, some privacy to some degree or the other, and some just clean up the user interface. And just on a side note, while we are talking about edge settings, I posted a video about three years or so ago how you can increase your privacy and security in Microsoft Edge. That will be linked down below and somewhere here in the end screen. And then about a year or so ago, I posted a video how to debloat, speed up and remove unwanted features from Microsoft Edge. And I'll also leave that link down below and in the end screen because that's gained quite a bit of interest. Some of the, the features we've spoken about today are featured in those videos, some not. So the collation of the three may give you a nice overview if you want to tweak and adjust and just um, harden um, Microsoft Edge to some degree or the other. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.